Hey Wayfinders, this is Gary and I'm going to be doing a little review of the CRKT Pilar 3 today. I've, uh, I don't think I've done a review of this. I've had this uh, quite a while and I've carried it <laughs> quite a while but I've never, I don't think I've ever reviewed it. I think I did an unboxing and a, a little video showing my son finger flicking it open, but I've never uh, taken the time to uh, do a review. So yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so I wanna first give a shout out to my uh, daughter Mia who says she watches my, uh, my videos every day or every time I do a video and I just want to give her a shout out hey Mia <laughs> hey Mia's friends let's get on with the review so I uh, you know I never uh, I never knew this about uh, the PLR3 because I've never collected any of the previous versions of the Pilar. So here's something that I didn't know. I guess the original Pilar is uh, meant for sailors, like a sailor's knife, a minimalist sailor's knife. You know, I didn't know that. <laughs> and the Pilar 3 is meant for a minimalist urban carry now. Maybe because they made the blade longer, they changed it. I don't know. That's that's what I read. <laughs> look out, bad guys! Look out, zombies! The Pilar Three is here. And uh, I did some further digging, and and you know it's made uh, designed by Ye Yesfer. I think it's Yesfer Voxness. I, I I don't know how to pronounce his name. But it's a fun fact. It's named after the original Pilar is named after Ernest Hemingway's boat that he used in World War II to spy on Germans, apparently. I don't know. I'm kind of late to the party, but I was never interested in the Pilar models that came before this one until this one. And let's go over some specs. So, this mo this version, and you could tell by the backspacer, is the 8CR MOV 13. Oh well, 8CR 13 MOV version. <laughs> um, the D2 version has a brass backspacer. So remember that. Um, this is a spear point blade, flat grind, satin finish. I think the D2 version has a stone wash finish, but don't quote me on that. I'm just guessing from the pictures. <laughs> this is the G10 scales. On the other side is a, a steel scales. It looks like titanium, but don't let yourself go fooled. It's all steel. Um, it features a frame lock. It's only right side tip up carry. Sorry, lefties. And it has a great lanyard option, you can see. I'm excited about the lanyard. <laughs> uh, it's a manual flipper with a thumb hole. Super drop shutty. And it's on the, those IKBS bearings that uh, CRKT, CRKT is known for. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, go over some size and weights. So the handle, you know, I did this measurements and weights uh, before this video. And, and believe it or not, the specs check out on BHQ and Knife Center and other places. But I mean, I double checked them. It's uh, it, it's surprising that they're uh, correct. <laughs> So this uh, handle is 
0.25 inches, four and a quarter. The blade is three inches. I think it's a little, no, it's three inches. The cutting edge is 2.8125, so it's like two and 13 sixteenths. And the overall is seven and a quarter inches. And it's 3.6 ounces. And I, I measured it with the out the lanyard is 3.6 ounces. With the lanyard, this lanyard I tied on it is 3.74 ounces. Like like you care. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about. I'm kind of late to the game. I mean, I think everybody's reviewed this knife. I wanted to talk about how fidget friendly it is. I mean, I. I this knife is so fidgetable. I can I, I can literally flick this uh, Spidey flick this in my sleep. Yeah, you can thumb hole flick it, but I prefer to Spidey flick it. You know, it's a it's so <laughs> it's so it's so fun to Spidey flick it. I don't know if you guys watched. Uh, what is it called? Army of Dead, the Army of the Dead, uh, Netflix. But I watched that, and after like, I don't know, I'd say thirty minutes, I uh, I was getting bored, and so I started spidey flicking this knife because I had it on me, had sitting on the couch, and I watched this movie all the way through, flicking this open. You know, it, I'm I live alone except for my cats. So if you had a wife or a significant other, if you're a female, <laughs> you would uh, probably drive uh, people crazy flicking this. It, it's butter buttery smooth. I mean, you I mean, you. It's it's so much fun. You could literally train a five year old to flick this open. For those of you that haven't quite learned how to spidey flick, get this knife, the Pilar 3. And this knife is literally, you'll be spidey flicking in no time. So I gave it a lanyard, just, I particularly gave it a lanyard right, right before this video because I wanted to show off its generous lanyard hole. And uh, so, I gave it a two snake knots to just set it in place. I, I left a, I had a bead lying around and I finished it with a diamond knot. Yeah, let's get, let's get uh, some size comparisons just for the hell of it. So let's compare it to the size. So you can see, let's, You can see it's a little bit smaller than the Pilar. <laughs> Screw that up. Let's compare it to the Tenacious. And let's compare it to my second favorite fidgetable knife. And this is the Pelican. So. quite a bit big I think yeah I think everybody should pick up a Pilar 3 typically I don't like uh, buy a lot of uh, CRKTs because they they don't like do anything for me but I'm glad I um, picked up the Pilar 3 I think this is a really 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 good knife so fun fidgetable easy to flip open Let's try to, I let's try to thumb flick it because I always spidey flick it so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a not a thumb fl hole flicker for me. It's a spidey flicker. Yeah. I got the Pilar to shake out one time. Let's try it again. 
Oh. <laughs> Let's try it again. I, I've had my um, hand on the frame, so you have to keep your hand off the frame and it'll shake out. <laughs> this is the king of shake out knives. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go, Wastelanders. Have a good next week. I already can't wait for the weekend. My week is going to suck. <laughs> Take care, Wastelanders.